Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your bonus reading for February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So welcome Sagittarius, hope everybody's doing well. This is your bonus reading. We're going to take a little look at love, life and advice for you at this time. So my intention with this is if your monthly readings didn't resonate for you, maybe something here will. So please only take away what resonates, throw away the rest. Don't try to make it fit. If you don't feel it's for you, then it's probably not. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So let's see what's going on with Sagittarius at this time. And I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch previous readings, links below in the description box to your general and love playlist, along with the decks I'm using, links to social media, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, or send a gift, all that information is below in the description box. And I'll also pin some of that info to the top comment. So let's see what's going on. Can be male or female watching this. Doesn't matter. Sagittarius. All right, let's take a little look-see here and see what's going on in the love department for you at this time. For Sagittarius spirit, please. Thank you so much. Sagittarius in love at this time. Knowing that is your card. Oh, we have the mice. So, <laughs> and we have the seven um, wands at the bottom there, which can be a little defensive energy. 23, five is about change. So there may be something pesty or nagging around you in love. Oh boy, what's going on, Sag? And now we have choice here. And we have the queen of pentacles at the bottom, or it can be king, queen, doesn't matter. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy is all about growth, abundance, stability, practicality kind of energy. 22, double number there of unity of some kind, partnerships. So let's read, um, let's read a little snippet here in the book. So we have 22, 23, wow. Wow, 2223. Okay. Progression of some kind. Let's see what's going on here for you. If you add those together, that is 45, which is nine. All right. So, <coughs> sorry. So we have choice here. Decisions and choices are what I offer. Alternative directions are what I aguar. Aguar? I don't even know what that word is. I speak in multiple and double, and when I'm in a relationship, I might be trouble. So then we have the mice there, which says, you don't want me in your house, you don't want me in your blouse. <laughs> I bring loss, I bring theft with destruction and decay. I am your stress and anxiety. I am the worry in society. I am your nuisance, I am your pest. I bring sickness in your nest. Oof. What's going on there, Sag? Needing to make a choice about something that's pesty, that you feel like is pesty or a nuisance in your life. And this, that's your love life? Oh boy, Sag. All right, so let's take a little look at life. Kind of general energies here, see what comes out. And I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift, those who have reached off a personal reading. All your support that you give me in the channel is truly, truly appreciated. So a big thank you, thank you. So Sagittarius, what is going on? Okay, let's get some life. What's going on in life for you at this time? The Sagittarius spirit, please. Thank you so much. And we have conclusions are within reach, a full moon eclipse. So something coming to an end. And we have don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. So that's been coming out, um, if I remember right, a lot in your readings, uh, Leo energy. And here it is in this one now. So you could be dealing with a Leo. Don't get your pride. Don't let pride get in your way. Hmm. So there's some sort of ending, but... Don't let your pride get in the way of an ending. Hmm, let's we'll see. We're going to clarify all this energy with the tarot. All right. So let's get advice for you, Sagittarius. And I do have Sagittarius, especially if you're new. You like my style and how I read. Please feel free to check out my channel if you like what you see. 
please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. You get five readings a month. You get two love, two general, and a bonus. So let's see what the advice is for Sagittarius. And if you do, thank you. Sagittarius. What is the oops, advice for Sagittarius at this time? Nope. It's too many. I just want one. <laughs> one for Sagittarius. Love partnership. And we have 26, which is eight. And eight is about travel, action, communication. And we have abundance. So some sort of love partnership here could bring in a lot of abundance for you. And we have double eight there, which <laughs> three eights. If you add two, six, eight, and two more eights, three eights here. Heavy, heavy energy of communication, travel, or some sort of action is needed in a situation. Wow. All right. So let's clarify. <coughs> It could be if you're ending something uh, here, you could be, um, your pride could be getting in the way of something new, a new partnership or something here that could bring you a lot of growth and abundance, but maybe you're too prideful to give it a try or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let's clarify with the tarot. So what is this mice and love? Something a nuisance for you and needing to make a choice. And it has to do with your stability with the Queen of Pentacles, King or Queen of Pentacle energy. It's all about stability, growth, abundance, practicality. Yeah. Devil energy, toxic energy here. Ooh. So we got mice and the devil. Wow. Okay. Capricorn and that's but needing uh, balance, wanting your balance, your peace, your harmony, your balance, energy, equal give and take. Wanting your balance back. Yeah, and here's heartbreak, pain, painful situation. So something, mental entrapment. I've been getting this a lot in your readings, stuck in your head about something. And confusion. So now we have the Seven of Cups. Confusion, options, decisions, daydreamy kind of energy. Kind of like have your head in, in the clouds and stuck in your head and hitting your head in the clouds and very confused and uh, looking at the options or looking at things that happened, maybe in a relationship here. Uh, you know, everything that happened, but being stuck in your head about this. Why did it happen kind of energy I'm getting? Nine of Cups uh, could be overindulging here for all these cups, so be careful of that. But this is nines are always a single energy to me, but this is also wishes and dreams coming true, happiness and joy and fulfillment. Wow, so you do have toxic energy here between two people. Um, it just could be not seeing eye to eye, not getting along, fighting, arguing kind of energy just not not in a good energy but you're wanting balance in your life you know there's been some sort of heartbreak and uh pain in the situation i feel like <laughs> the mice with this t um pesty nuisance energy i feel like has to do with this person with the devil energy so you know needing to make a decision how do i bring balance back into my life but yet feeling confused on how to do that having mental entrapment stuck in your head and confused about how do I get my joy, my happiness, and my wish fulfillment kind of energy. So you may be overindulging. So just be careful. Be careful of that energy. All right. So I don't know. I feel like I need a couple more cards for you in that situation. Yeah, walking away. Yeah, so you need to walk away from that energy. I feel like it's not serving you. This is walking away from things no longer serving you. But you can walk to something more fulfilling for you if you choose to. So let's see. Oh, there you are. Temperance coming out. Yeah. What is going to bring you balance, peace, harmony? You know, be patient with yourself. Don't overindulge too much. 
And I feel like you just need to walk away from the situation that's no longer serving you. That's the only way you're going to find your peace, harmony, and balance. And that's temperance also. Peace, harmony, balance, and being patient also in the situation here. So needing to make the choice to do so, that will bring in your stability. Because also if you add 22, you get 4, which is also about stability in your foundation. So we have conclusions are within reach. Don't let pride get in your way. But then we have brain to beginning in love here. Love, emotions are overflowing. It could be self-love. It could be uh, a spiritual uh, awakening. It can be, you know, being divinely connected now to source and being over, you know, have all those uh, emotions overflowing. Uh, finally having, you know, self-love, peace, harmony, joy, or this is an opportunity for a new beginning in love also. So now we got the five of swords in reverse. <sighs> the five of swords upright can be, you know, kind of like an ego getting ahead at all cost. Do I just give up? Do I keep fighting on? Do I do what I got to do, you know, just to get ahead kind of energy? Hmm. All right, let's pull a few more. Death, yeah, so endings here, something ending. But then there's always transformation in a new beginning after something comes to an end. We have Scorpio here. Over here we have your energy with Sagittarius. Capricorn. My cat is snoring. Um, <laughs> so let's see. So something needing to come to an end here. And that's the conclusion with the death card. Is an ending, actual ending of some sort happening for you. But... You have divinely guided energy here of self-love, worth, value, maybe even a new love or <clears throat> having, you know, like a big spiritual awakening, feeling divinely connected. But yet the five of swords, I feel like is your pride is getting in the way. Yeah, being indecisive about what to do here, not willing to make a decision either to just let something end. So somewhat sort of um, offer here, stable grounded offer uh, coming in or good news, grounded, stable news, something you can trust. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy again. And then we have the four wands here. So this is celebrating um, ceremonies, celebrating commitment, marriage, having a good time kind of energy, stability in your home life. So yeah, I feel like a decision needs to be made here. Something about your home life and your stability. But definitely there's an ending here with the death card. I don't know. I feel like I need a couple more here. Because this is like not giving me high priestess. So keep into yourself. But needing to listen to your gut, your intuition. Also, high priest is very secretive. So that could be, you know, keeping secrets or just not sharing much of anything with anyone about what's going on in your life. Yeah, so spending time alone. Uh, <laughs> Virgo energy here. Cancer, Pisces here. So I feel like you're trying to do some you know, inner journey work here, soul searching about what is best for you, but yet not really telling anybody what you're doing, kind of keeping to yourself. Two cards of keeping to yourself with the hermit. But the hermit always tries to find their path, their way, their light. Does that deep down soul searching work? I feel like you're trying to figure out what's best for you. What do I need to end? But yet feeling kind of indecisive, like not sure what to do. I mean, this could be you wanting to extend an offer out to somebody or something or an offer coming in and you're not sure whether or not to offer or accept this whatever it is but I see it's very stable can bring you a lot of stability in your home life and it's divinely guided for you especially here with the ace of cups so there is um, definitely some sort of love behind it so something here with your pride so I think you need to get <clears throat> over pride and ego 
let things end that need to end and new beginnings happen that you feel need to happen in your life bring you stability so we have love partnership and as i said <laughs> the lovers fall out here so there's some sort of soulmate energy here that could bring in a lot of abundance for you it's a gemini energy there ace of swords page of swords so ace of swords is my divine energy card uh universe stepping in here with truth and clarity the sword of victory success truth clarity cutting away things no longer serving you standing up for yourself not taking any bs kind of energy and here's you using that sword to finally cut away things no longer serving you um truthful honest communication could also be doing some sort of research or looking at things online of some kind looking at somebody or something so the truth of the matter is here especially with the ace of swords if somebody is here that is your soulmate because we got love partnership and the soulmate card can bring you a lot of abundance and i feel like divine energy is trying to show you that with the ace of swords Six of one, so there could be a lot of success and victory here. Accomplishment. Here's the offer coming in uh, on the wand. Doesn't have to be marriage. It could be just any kind of offer of some kind. This is also a attention card. Can be an ego kind of card too. Um, getting recognition and attention. But here's judgment. So we got Scorpio here. So this is about making a judgment call, a final decision. Can I resurrect? either resurrecting something here of the past or something new. I know there's a lot going on here. So forgiveness, resurrection, or, you know, this angel brings the two soulmates back together, M needing to make a final decision here on a love partnership. And here you are with the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. So <laughs> divine, Wheel of Timing, Fate, destiny, along with the Ace of Swords. We've got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Lovers. And this Temperance Angel also brings the soulmates together. I feel like there's something in the past that you need to end that's toxic, it's nuisance, it's, it's just not a good energy that needs to end and you need to walk away from that. You need to let it end. You know, it's also about healing. But then I feel like there's somebody else or something else that is sort of like a divine um, soulmate or partnership that can bring you a lot of growth and abundance. It's fate and destiny here with the Wheel of Fortune, something meant to be. Divine timing, things going in a better direction, growth, abundance, prosperity. If you choose to, with the judgment card, make an offer maybe to somebody having the truth of clarity, using the sword to do what you need to do. Well, a lot of energy there. So let's see what's on the bottom, the tower moment. So this could be a shake up, break up, break down, fight, argument, epiphany, aha moment, a surprise. And then we have lovers. So again, soulmate energy here. So we got the lovers and the two of cups, which is soulmate energy. So this could be you having a big epiphany that somebody here is your soulmate of some kind here and now the empress so emperor empress doesn't matter whoever's watching this male or female taking lead taking control of your life taking charge getting in that emperor energy and just uh going after what you want here working it out with somebody perhaps with the three of pentacles energy teamwork collaboration and we do have the moon here uh and the empress so we have the emperor and the empress so we have divine feminine divine masculine so divine counterparts here and the moon uh, also represents the divine feminine so does the empress so you know can't see the path clearly with the moon energy it can be about illusions or secrets and then the empress is somebody who has a lot of value worth birth uh birth of something new growth abundance kind of energy so yeah, we got the Seven of Swords, so sneaking away from a situation or leaving a situation no longer serving you, but then maybe offering something to somebody else. As you see, there's two cards of the offer, Ace of Pentacles, Growth, Abundance, Prosperous, New Beginning. 
with the pentacle energy there and <coughs> definitely have another card of a soulmate, six of cups, someone from the past, someone you've known for a very long time, maybe um, you could have past lives with this person. And it's also soulmates coming back together with the six of cups energy and ten of pentacles. So this is can be marriage, commitment, legacy of a family, um, growth, abundant future, long term, stable energy here with the ten of pentacles. The soulmate you could have had past lives with soulmates coming back together, having a brand new beginning with growth, abundance, and here's the offer coming in, coming into you, you extending it out. It's stable, it's uh, secure, it's grounded. We have the feminine, divine feminine and divine masculine sitting here together. Power couple here. Once we leave behind things that we can't, can't see or things that are, you know, just like an illusion or feeling disillusioned, leaving that energy. And now wanting to work it out, work together, bring soulmates together here. Having a breakup or a breakdown or epiphany, aha moment about a soulmate and wanting to work it out, perhaps. So a lot of a lot of energy here. So Sag, there's a lot of going going on. So take it how it resonates for you. Uh, you could work it out with this past person, or you could be leaving this past person and it going towards somebody new, but you're feeling kind of uh, defensive, on guard, a uh, little pride and ego, and not sure, not feeling confident to go towards somebody new yet, but I feel like it's something meant to be, especially with the wheel and the judgment and the four of wands is my twin flame card. Um, the two of cups, the ace of cups. I mean, what sh how much more clarity do you need here, Sag? <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyway, Sag, that is your bonus reading. So best of luck to you, whatever you choose to do here and I'm um, sending you many light, love and blessings and Always, always shine your light.